Morning Stars! It's me, Missy, and back, and today we are going to be playing some Oxen Free. I've never played this game. Don't know much about it. I know it's got something to do with ghosts, something to do with teenagers, something to do with an island. I don't know how this game is going to go. I'm excited to play this game, though. It looks cool, in my opinion, at least, and I have no idea how the story is going to develop or go or anything like that. But I'm assuming it's going to be very exciting, very weird, very fun, that type of thing. So guys, with that, let's get into the game, shall we? Oops. Pick. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Uh, okay. Cool. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission uh. control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, Jonas, what you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. Oh, it's shut share up. Thing Alex will do sometimes. You might think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay, uh. noted. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got hmm. lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> no, what happened? Okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. Yeah, that is adorable. Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Yeah, I can hey, uh, sit. Second cousin? A stepbrother. Step oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's food. weird. Smelling up your bathroom. I am. Uh, uh, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like the concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, uh, who's the uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? I did notice. I guess she can't hear me. Yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush hush. But she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back, so we can spend the night. So that's how a bad do idea. You two know each other? Oh, from way back when. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel. It says. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But uh. yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Who's talking? Uh, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Great. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient It means zero. oppressor. <laughs> Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. <laughs> there, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. <sighs> hey, Alex. Aren't you, you just a charmer? Right? The little portable one? Of course. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a huh. radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. 
She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. Hmm. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> red-headed bedwetters? <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. That's a hell of a name. Damn. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Uh-huh. Okay. Aren't we cute? Can't wait to see how this goes to hell in a handbasket. I love our hair. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex? You can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. No thanks. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, Dad, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just that's kind of it'll take three minutes tops. I'll right, talk buddy. to him. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway, we're all gonna I'll hear what Jonah has to say. No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Going up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know What you want to talk about? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. We'll make the best of it. <sighs> we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Stop oh, it. Stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this no is... Problem. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Nice uh, view. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Okay, come back there. One second, guys. Letters, options. Okay, there's nothing for sound. Okay. Like a quiche. 
Kish. <laughs> off road. Uh, I think they block us off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Yeah, and it's always creepy and usually means something bad. Oh, Got you. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, hmm. do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what? Like 102.3. I just want to see how it works. Um, maybe later. Maybe we can do the walking tour later. Like, after three beers. <laughs> okay, that's true. We will be here all night. 102.3 Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusata, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962, and in 1965, erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Oh, That's sad. Parking office. Facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> That's a cute little shop. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. But I want a shop. Here, maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. How'd they pull Wait, that? how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with bluesies will overcome all borders. It's the American <laughs> way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And creepy. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been checked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind 70 of years. the local legend. She has a house on the other Each side of the living sounds nice. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. If it's on an island. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. <laughs> it's the dream. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh really? Yeah, so... A little birdie. Did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. What does that mean? That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. 
Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this will be fun. Don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Gee, going to college. That's such a horrible thing. Here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Oh, good. Uh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I was all alone. Dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Let's go. Little waterfall is cute. Go to the cliffs. Street discovered cliffs 9 p.m. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal. Relax. Relax. <laughs> oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was not the Leave really. it alone, Just Ren. Leave it alone, Ren. All right, you don't have to hear everything. I don't have to. <gasps> what? What's going on? There's some Should birds. Some birds flew out of a hole and scared me. That's all. <laughs> birds. Cheep cheep cheep. You big goof. <laughs> Tiffany Field. Discovery Cliffs. Hey, Amanda is this like a part of the base? This far out on the beach? I honestly don't know what that is. But remember, you can pull out your little radio and tune to that tour station if you want. This data command annex, as Ooh. it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Hmm. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Okay. This data command annex. I can't go that way, okay. I love our outfit. It's very different Reginald I hear you over there hey guys wait I was saying I was about to tell a story what was it about Brad's car oh well that can wait hey 
We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play Hi. Beach Nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's he's a trip, cool. Right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you a stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My parents are married. dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. Who and, else was coming? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's Don't be mean. So come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This Being is like the bitch, I see. Right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nora, really. and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. What about me? Hey, what about me? What about you? I don't even count. I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Sure, right, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. yeah beach, island stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice. I'm not used to high schooler bullshit anymore, and these guys all seem like idiots. Joy. They're making me feel old. Of course, maybe this is just a crappy get together. I love how we have the obligatory mean girl. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Let's explore. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over what the, the news. Hell? Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Let's see her house. Been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich. No, a... we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer well, aren't you just fun? Question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. That sounds boring and as hell. Sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Then yeah, truth or dare. Festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a uh, question. Ew. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody. How maybe. can you prove uh, that? You lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... I'm staying out of this. It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... <laughs> I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Pretty oh, harsh, Clarissa. Ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay. So Unless it's you. Right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> uh oh. Lay it on me. Nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary Screw Kill. 
Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And I marry Jonas Nona. His family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty bit? And screw Ren. Screw Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah. I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> you got what was coming. She got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the Clarissa. 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 Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching all the worst What's fear. Your worst fear. That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I get that. I get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Okay, so quit the cunt crap China. for a little bit, Alex. please. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um. Is there a question here? It, really? Is there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so. Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. It's, it's, okay, just get to the point. Get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. My dad died. Michael I'm not my dad, my brother died, died. And it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your what problem? Is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, sure thing. We'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars okay. on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Maybe uh, later. In a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. Keep going up the steps, I want to see what's up here. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot, we never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... They went to that weird carnival. <laughs> How do you even get Jenny out of the house? Alder Estate. <laughs> I don't know. Beacon Beach. So, what happened? They just... It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks and they like... She wanted something mm. like a named thing? Oh god. Yeah, like... Like a... Some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. I guess I'll go to the caves, then. When was the last time you were here? Uh... A year, two, two years ago. Really? Yeah, it's been a while. But whatever. 
Mm, let's do. Let's go talk to the bitch and the quiet one. Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. And thanks for the beer. Uh, thanks for the beer. Tell your cousin that was nice. Eh, she owed me. I lied about where she was so she could see her boyfriend, Richard. I mean, Dick. <laughs> but you're welcome. So that Look, Ren. Nona, now that we're not playing that stupid game, what do you really think about Ren? Uh, what do you mean? Just in general. You know, just in general, I guess. He's neat, I guess. Sometimes he acts a little weird, but weird is good. It's better than normal. Look, Alex, Rin seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, so if you could just, like, tell him that, just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever, I'd, um, sure appreciate thing. it. You look Larissa. relaxed. I am relaxed. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. Can we be friends? <laughs> this is like a very special episode of Fart Date. <laughs> I'm friends with everybody, Alex, alright? Relax. Yeah, sure. Well, if something happens, I'm not How saving you. Get you? The fire started? We are the fire starter. A lighter. We are truly marvels of modern science. There we are. Okay, brother dear. Living, huh? Uh, yep. Get a signal? Get any reception? Or... No, not really. I, uh, didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of promised my dad I'd call him. He never used to be this, uh, needy, but since my mom died, he's kind of shortened the leash on me a bit. He's going to be kind of pissed. Not a good way to start the move, huh? I should have warned yeah, you. Yeah, I should have warned you. The technology here, I think they just got, like, mechanical pens, so... Oh, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to write him a text, so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. Okay, Jonas. Go to the cave. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. All right, let's do it. Come on, jump. I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? 5, weird enough. Mm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. What's her yeah, deal? What's her deal, anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh, standing right I'm, here. I'm standing right here. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting you're a girl. Oh, thanks gee, thanks. For, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you about could Nona. and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. She doesn't want to date. She told me to tell you that... She's not in the mood for a relationship. Man, I knew when Clarissa dug in that it would screw the whole thing up with her. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. Ugh. There's other There's girls, other girls, you know. There, Ren. It's not like little hamster girl Nona is like the one for you. Seriously, forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Who cares? I'll get over it. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me. me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually... I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Don't Come run. On, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. <laughs> what? Jonas is gonna do it too. Right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. I'm glad you agree, Jonas. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. 
so you're going to want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Hmm, it's Morse code. I don't know Morse code. But that's cool. Oh shit. Holy crap. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is that? What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this point, here, come over here and try it. More Morse code. This is so cool. Okay. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Get in my brother. She Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. She never whatever. liked me. She never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you okay? Are you okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Well, let's do this last one. More Morse code. Sounds hmm. so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. Pain I'm just gonna go with blood painful. Curve. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh. Something going on. There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous. I see wow, it too. I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> I oh, don't know. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. Exactly. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that mm -hmm. far. We'll be in and out. You say that now. It's the famous last words. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait for me. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. You mean brownie? I think you mean brownie. Isn't that a cute picture? <laughs> Let's keep going. 10 p.m. Jonas, where are where you? Are you? Wandering off by yourself in a cave is such a good idea. Let's go. Well, hopefully, he's okay. He should be. 
Don't you okay? Cool, right? Shout if you're like bleeding or something. Why is he so quiet? I don't like that. Where is Jonas? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. See a man about a dog. Didn't, Didn't you, you hear me call me? For you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, you scared I me. Scared you? you scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought. I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. Uh-huh. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this, how this happens. It's beautiful. It's crazy. No, it's, uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kind of. I don't know where it's coming from. Get out of here. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at. Exactly. <laughs> no. Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. Of course it must you do. just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Let's go, can please. We just go, please. I really don't like it here. Yeah, okay, we can go. Lead the way. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Go back. I'm curious if if you can actually make the choice to avoid that situation. Let's climb back up, go back to our friend who took some brown, uh, magic brownies. And being the idiot that he is, is hopefully still sitting where he's supposed to be sitting, but I have a feeling he's probably not. Hopefully he didn't drown himself. Being an idiot. This is really cool. There we are. Keep going down. I'm kind of glad I convinced us to not become the horror movie cliche. Is this... Th this can't be the way we came in, right? We must have doubled back the wrong way somehow, or... There's an explanation. Okay. Uh, there, there has to be some kind of explanation. We just missed a, a, a turn somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go back. Let's just go back the other way. We got in, there has we can to be get a out. way out. Yeah. Sure. Can't panic. When you panic in situations like this, you usually die. Let's just ignore that. There's the noise again. Sure uh, thing. Sure thing. We'll do. You can't avoid this no matter how hard you try.
kind of funny that Ren didn't come with us. Opie's still doing okay. Seems like the light changed in here a little bit too. Going down, let's get back to where we were and see what the hell is going on here. There was an ashtray and a pen in here, and there was graffiti on the raw the wall. Don't raise anymore, it seems like. See a man about a dog, okay. A lot brighter all of a sudden. At least it seems like it's a lot brighter. Come here, Jarna. Mysterious things be afoot. There we go. Crystals. Thank you, Jonah, for getting us both in trouble. Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Yes. Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Um, cave, possibly. Triangle rainbows. Uh, maybe saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy oh, man, who can't dog. see dogs? See the first half? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the... Probably. Uh, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. You really? think so? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Good idea. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. I wish this more. was a more. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, let's try. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. I don't like that it's getting scarier. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should I stop? Sh should I stop? No! This is awesome! This is the bad idea. I can't even, Ooh. like, what is... What? Is it? Is it Portal. Hello? Uh, hello. 
What the hell is happening? This is insane. Who are you? Uh, who are, are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bobtail. Shame tail. Sleeping. Time. Time. Down. Is Leave. possible. Maybe. Uh, maybe, but I, I don't really. Bobtail. Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex. Jonas? What in the absolute hell? We're in the ocean? We're not in the ocean anymore. Alex! Alex! Jonas? Are we okay? We're at this is 11 p.m. Alex? Are you okay? No. You alright? What happened? <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't- Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. Why is the fence necessary? Much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower, they're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... Don't touch. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. Yeah. Way ahead of no, you. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not. I'm in the freaked mood. out too. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a splitting headache and like I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Harden Tower. Black. Oh, it's called that, I think, Black. because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I remember. I'll explain why I remember it. Old timey music. Where's code again? From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988, it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From okay. 1941 to 1972, this communications or served. 1972. Music again. Band for sound. Music. No music. A lot of old timey music, it seems. Doesn't seem that safe. Again. Okay, so we're almost to the top. Hopefully we can get some answers to what the hell happened to us. I have a feeling we jump back in time, maybe? 
But if we jump back in time, why is the stuff here still? The radio things. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? They're being stupid. They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. <laughs> try the door. It's locked. Let me try. Be my oh, guest. After you. Oh, why, thank you. Lock picker. Ooh. What are you doing? What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. Okay, Jonas. See? Oh my. And me without my camera. Oh god, shut up. So it still thing? works. Ah, oh, okay, what the hell? Someone saw the light. Hello? Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick? We know. <laughs> how are you calling Ren, us? How are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just Defcon Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. How'd like, you get Ren? there? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something. Hold maybe on, Ren. Like, Check-ins, maybe? What's Wait, that? Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you, of course. Where are you? Calm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. Yeah, I just, we're on sure, our way. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know, I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it's gone. And it dies, ladies Maybe and Ren's still on? Ren, are you still there? Shit. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so wanna truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta yeah, take the bitter it. with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Whoa, this is big. She's all the way up here. He's over there. There's the campgrounds. We were... Beacon Beach. Okay. Guided right tours. Tune in to Station... 102.3. 102.3, guys. Edwards Island. Okay. All right. Let's figure out how to turn fence off this electrified off fence. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. That's fine. Come on. Don't, don't, you, trust don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Good point. Cheery. do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You Wait. know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. 
Thanks. I guess. Radio. SOS uh, Mayday. SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um... CQD? CQD? Come quick. Danger. Well, something's there. Not anything good, it seems. It's... um... dead. Did you get anyone? Someone was someone there. Was there, but I don't know. Someone's dead too. Okay, let's go, buddy. Ernest, are you not coming with me? Ernest. Jonas, talk to me. Follow me. Okay, well, if he's gonna do what he wants to do. Let's leave. Goodbye, Jonas. Let's go see if we can save Clarissa. And our other buddy, Ren. I prefer Ren over Clarissa, but she has a radio, which means we could probably get in contact with people, maybe. Unless it's just as fried as the other thing is. Hopefully my, my game... Uh, hopefully my game did not break somehow. I don't know why Jonas isn't following me. Let's keep going. Going down, let's get off this damn tower, see if the electric fence is off. Hopefully it is. It should be now that I took down the generator and turned it off, but we'll see. So we're on the same island still, yeah. But they've all lost time somehow. We disappeared into a cave that had an entrance, then didn't have an entrance, and it wasn't like a cave-in, more like... It was just there and then it wasn't. That's interesting. And there's spooky, freaky things talking to us, kind of. Arden Tower, Epiphany Field, go to Epiphany Field. Well, hopefully Jonas is still following us. for a second the game was going to crash i was gonna be very irritated about that how are you how doing are you uh doing i'm fine i guess why stuff uh, is crazy that's why it's crazy you know so just making sure your shoes are still on your feet they are they are how are you could be better uh, could be better but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better Good talk. Go to Milner's post, I think that's what they said. Yeah, Fort Milner. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Clarissa. Damn it is. Is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, she uh, weird. might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. That's true. See that sign? They were originally gonna make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look Weird. very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? Yeah. But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people? It'd like, have more security. In there, 
like doing stuff. I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something? Could be, I guess. Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Okay. I wonder, could this be one of them there booby traps? Bugs Bunny. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was Clarissa! the home of the- Where are you? That won't help. won't help. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not. Thank you for scaring me while I'm trying to look at stuff. Can't get in that way, okay. Unless Jonas wants to be helpful. Spooky. Firing range. Yeah. Or fired a gun? Never fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Uh, why not? Why not? I mean, isn't that like a guy thing? Cowboys and gangsters? I can't ride a horse, and banks make me nervous. <laughs> I like football. I think that's enough. Well, let's keep going. Restricted photography keep out? prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted, keep out. Now well, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something about being? Yeah, that sign's old. Like back when we were fighting Nazis, old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. Yes, it is. What's this? That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Yeah, I agree. I'm at the observatory. I, uh, I found something. You should hear this. Two seconds. I don't know what to do. Because you didn't think it was going to work either. No. But it did. It did. I'm really scared. Me too. What the fuck are they talking you wanna about? wanna take a second? And do what? Be scared? Together? Okay. So... I'm at the observatory. I, uh, I found something. So they these people discovered something. Someone went somewhere and they're lost, but they also don't want to be found. They didn't think that something would work, but it worked... Like a charm, I guess. Dinner 
time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Oh, I didn't like that. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Wait, Wait seriously? Like, doors that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Yes, even oh, those. I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we got to go anyway. Sorry. Well, gee, thank you, Jonas. I mean, you got a point. We can't go back. Got to go forward. Got to help Clarissa and the others, so... The question is, what's this big mystery that's going on here? So I'm assuming there was some sort of experiment. People got stuck in one place that they shouldn't have been or somebody did and no one thought it was going to work but someone proved it did and then they just don't want to leave where they are which is a hella terrifying thought and we have this weird radio thing talking to us for some reason through the radio and we can find them by finding the weird light And using that. I just wanted to see what was over here. It's over this way. Do not enter without permission of the installation commander. Whatever you say, sign. Relay point, okay. What's over this way? Yes, the only way to go ahead is to go to that door that the weird radio ghost thing opened for us. Fantastic, I don't trust it. Keep going. Back to this door. Go to facilities. Yep, figures. Don't be locked. Come on. Can't go back now. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Oh, now you're thinking there's well, no way Clarissa out. got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? Not for really long. Wasn't. Yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... What, what sort, sort of thing? thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? right kind of wild. Girls go for assholes and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But yeah. that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's what type do you go for? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette. Maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. I'm in San Diego? I'm in San Diego. Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of explains a lot. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know. 
Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, it's... It's just strange to see it like this. Let's just keep going. I can move faster Stuff now. Like this. I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like... I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... <laughs> In the Graffiti. daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. What's over here? It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Or the, or code. the code. Maybe we'll find it. Don't leave, Don't, me here, Jonas. leave me here, Jonas. Wait. Jonas? Jonas, what happened? Are, are you all right? Let me Jonas, in. Let me in. I'm not in the mood. I can't get to him that way. What the fuck was that? Well, somebody's watching me. I hate it all. Great. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't. I, I can't hear anything outside at all. But luckily, this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Okay. Chris is not in here, and it's just a room. So, like, riddle me that first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Uh, Hold on, yeah. I'll check. Hold on, I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really... Jonas? Jonas? If you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Jonas, Jonas talk to his gets mom. on your uh, case about his mom. Just do what you feel is best, okay? How is this possible? How, how is this possible? What's going on? Ow. I'm okay. What the you know, fuck I happened? It was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot. Okay, Ernest? what just happened? Cause that that sucked. Bunch of strange uh, stuff. Marissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Well, I did too. Oh, code. here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... 3418. Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. My reflection uh, talked to me earlier. I don't think I'm anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture. See if the flash will make something happen. Okay. 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 Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Nothing happened, I guess. Hold on, there's other stuff up here. Radio Poster. Box. The technology here has always been it's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no. Yeah, it does seem that something. way, doesn't it? Was there anything else in this room? Oh, this station radio. Talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe uh Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? Yeah, probably. Kinda seems yeah. like it. Lines up, I guess. But she's still been transmitting, so she must still be in here somewhere. I mean, I'd hope she'd be in here somewhere. She, maybe she's in an alternate dimension, because we just saw her walk through a fucking wall. So, who knows? Also saw, saw some weird ghost scary thing watching me from the window over here, so... Fantastic. Well, we got the code. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! Mm-hmm. To our dooms we go, children. Uh, you tell me. 
just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Well, our pretending doesn't seem to do us much good, I gotta say. Let's just go, I guess. Oh, fuck! There's the thing! Hi, buddy! <laughs> How are you? Please don't hurt me. Oh, gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now. So since we're stuck anyway, I go in the corner. I... God, go in the corner then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. Take a I'll piss. I don't care. Fast. This is great. Is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. Uh, I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Well, at least everybody pees. Let's go out the window. Can I go? Let me out. There we are. Clarissa. Clarissa. Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her? She or might something? be in trouble. She knows it's us. I don't think she'd be freaking out like this if she wasn't like in trouble or something. Volunteer for submarine uh, service. Is this thing? Is this? God, is this? Is this going out or? Wait, I can. Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, yeah. so we still gotta get to her. Open the door. Oh, lady, here we come. Awesome handprints. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you I'd know say. who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. No idea. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind. Nope. You and me, we're in on this wall ride right, is scary. You, you heard that, right? Something, something just, fell. just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. I don't think Probably. the animals come here. Any more talky twos? No? Okay. Well then, let's go to the creepy. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Fuck no. They're talking about... It's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. Uh huh. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this isn't hangman. This, this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? It was Army Radio Communication like School. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. I haven't known I've been paying attention. It all your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? I don't know. Do I? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good what soldier? You can't... Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? Uh. They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. I'm what upside down. On? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a sick. tilt -a whirl Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who Ten. would know that? You Cookies. Codes. Cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Why would I? Why on earth 
us, would I? What does this have to do? We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas! Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? No, he's not. One last round and you've cleared your like exam. Him. Pencil's ready. Please stop. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? In five. Ten. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers. Twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Uh -huh. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Jonas. Honest, <laughs> I don't like this. Submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Why are you here? Why are you here? Was it something we? What a question. Never left. You died. What are you? What are you? And the panic of the... Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. What? I... That was not fun. Are you alright? feeling better? <sighs> I'm feeling... Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just this unbelievable. Is anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Yeah, I agree. Go up. Can I not go up? The triangle's still there. Okay, US Army. Wreck. Like it's space. There we are. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. Huh? Huh? Be still so as not to wake her. What the hell does that mean? 
Cross your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa? Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still, good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. I don't know how to work this crap. Are you um, all right? Are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but... You sound it off. Do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Why am I the radio geek now? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Yeah. Isn't there a radio? The officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh-oh. Uh, um, some things... I, I don't... I don't know. You already said that. Clarissa! <gasps> is there anything like... Can we cut her... Clarissa? Clarissa? I would have swore she was... in here. Better gone than dead. dead. Oh, maybe this was the... the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, It only so... broadcasts here. Yeah, it, it only broadcasts within the... within a short space. It's not gonna do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? A hunch. Clarissa. Oh, thank oh, God. God, Clarissa. We saw. Uh, I saw you, Alex. Don't worry. What is the matter with her? I am an American. What's she doing? What's she doing? There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. Clarissa. Oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not. It's not. She. Like we're, she was like she, possessed. She was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas. This is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to. We, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them. I mean, this, telling them. I, what about I, her I mom? I can tell her mom. I mean, we. She knows me. This can't. Oh God! And just the fact that I'm the one who. Was here and God. We'll we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Let's go, Jonas. That thing never left. She died twice. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We she's alive? Wait, she's alive? How, how is... How is that possible? I bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. I do too. So why isn't she here? This isn't possible. Because... I'm Luke? We did just go through a... Uh, sort of a temporal anomaly, a, a time thing? Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless... More than likely. Good news? She's alive. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Stay positive! We're not positive, we're screwed. Don't like that she. Well, guess it's Ren time. Mm -hmm. Let's hope it's Jump. less eventful. I don't think he's gonna be okay either. I don't know where Clarissa is. We're kind of fucked. Ah, uh, well. Uh, let's go see how bad things can get. <laughs> Wait a second. There was another door that was closed. Why was it closed? Let's go see if it's open. And then we'll go try and save Ren, which I don't think we're gonna be able to save anybody. I think we're all in this time loop and we're all kinda screwed. And the weird scary ghosty goo is trying to kill us all or communicate with us. 
or get free or something. Something no good is happening here. There was something over here. The door is not open, okay. Oh, no, we can't go inside. Oh, well. Let's go save Ren, then. I didn't expect this to get so dark so fast. I mean, granted, it's not insanely dark yet, but it ain't Watching someone jump and other things is still pretty fucking dark. Let's go back to Epiphany Fields. Maybe we'll get an Epiphany and figure out how to fix this. We're going this way. Tom's Tower. I have no idea how to say that. Grove. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. It stretches yeah, for miles. It's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. Nope. There There's is a park, park. But it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Uh, we do. Vaguely. Um, vaguely. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. What it's was it called? Weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like, half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled P-Pork. <laughs> My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. Mm -hmm. I guess he never considered the danger of... Whatever's happening right now. I don't think many people would. But you know, everything's got some. Yeah. This is out Once of the had ordinary. A Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Yeah, I I'd have to say, Santa becoming Krampus is kind of terrifying. It's over this way. Nothing, apparently. This way... The trees are pretty. Jump. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. Damn. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, <laughs> on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I'm interested. I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really. No. Imagine what it's seen and been through, honestly. Okay. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. Hmm. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. Hmm. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. 
Interesting. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Keeping, I keep expecting more m Morse code. No idea what that is. When you look around, you saw you weren't the only one doing it. Some of you mean closer. Oh gee, thank you for the spooky ass noise there. Bird stand. The bird stand. Going in the right direction? I think I am, but I could be wrong. And he said he was in the woods. This is the woods, I think. It's pretty. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge? It's a bridge Ooh. ferry. It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? An army thing. Yeah, it's like an army thing. Or... I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land, so maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even I armed. think we have to. I don't know. I think we have to. Oh, come on. It's the woods. There has to be like... I don't know, other dirt we can walk on to get to Ren. Doesn't look it's like a chasm, it. chasm, Jonas. What do you want me to say? All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, <laughs> thought that was a pet cemetery. No. I'm kind of relieved since island's depressing enough. There's an anomaly there. Interesting. Up here. Power transfer station one six seven. Oh, it worked. Okay, that's a little strange. Why yeah, wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? They forgot. Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. Don't say that. Jonas. I'm just saying, maybe he's dead. Being terrorized television. on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Hmm. I found circuit, circuit breaker. breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Your supervision, kind of. My supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know... That's sweet, That's but no. very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. Uh, 
Oh, not again. Flip? Cause it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I don't hey, don't, don't blame, blame me. Game here. I did what it said. There's only one. It's. I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just. There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Don't worry. Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. Don't say that. It would have been better had it never been found. I hate it. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Same here. Let's just leave. Uh, was that there before? No. I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? Just a chair. It's, uh, just a chair, so. Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. What's that? Okay, let's just let's go look over here, huh? Let's just keep be distracted, stay distracted. Not much you can do about the creepy shit if you don't have anything to fight it. Climb up this way. Who this is? Interesting. Version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station, and if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. Okay. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified... Okay. It says it's the... I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Interesting. This method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station, and if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. Okay. The Catbird station was. Let's go back. 
down. And let's get on the rickety ass bridge ferry to go try and save Ren. What a night, huh? Sorry about this. Yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that the stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Mm-hmm. We'll be all right. Humming Engine. with Barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. <laughs> one, this one oh, is. This one is. Controls. Praise oh. the Lord. Go to campgrounds. Still spooky. Very rickety. That it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yay! Yep. Yay! You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's what. Yeah. Ran yeah, with my brother. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah. Like with your mom and dad, or sometimes, sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Well, that's cool. Like he's like he'd be babysitting you, and he'd bring you out here. That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? We were best friends. It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. Jonah. Jonas, I appreciate Some you. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. It does, yeah, I can it? see this place being cool, like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. After tonight, never again. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. Me and you, girlfriend, I agree. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean... I mean, Nothing just happened. Uh, do you ever get deja vu? I feel like... Like, didn't we just walk through here? Huh. That's funny, I, I don't think we have. Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare zoo, but I don't know, you have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin. Stringing Whose life is that? Talking about right now? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For like forever. I just wouldn't want that. Maybe I... you're right. Uh, fine. I won't hold it against the island. Whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually, I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can this creepy shit stop? Hold on a second here. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. How is it that I'm remembering things and Jonas isn't? It's now a very good question. Why am I the only one that seems to be chosen slash affected by this thing? While everybody else is kind of like being taken over, confused, com discombobulated, whatever you want to call it, by it? Okay, nothing here, I guess. You 
used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's wrong. what Glenn made it sound like. We have definitely been here before. This is weird. What's weird? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, you don't, re you don't really don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot, again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> Are we lost? We keep repeating or time. Keep repeating this one moment for some reason. God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. This is uh, new. new. I had the oh, exact same ball. It's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Party har har. Jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. You used to wait. Haven't we done this before? We're going in circles yes. or something. Yeah, Jonas, we we're working on it. Okay. Okay, so the camp, and the ball again. Oh, the ball, um, moved? That was weird. Everything's weird. Take, Take that, that ball. Ball. Um. Who's, who's there? there? So, it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Where is this going? Okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Uh, don't get weird right, now. Let's not, um, make it weird now, radio people. In the background, it keeps saying do over, do over, do over, do over, do over. Like other people got stuck here in the same thing. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's Don't want to play. Don't want to play anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm backing off. Oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? My heart's going to explode. My doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Jonas? Jonas, Jonas where Where are you? Not again. I don't know if these things are being intentionally creepy or if they're actually like nice. Oh my. Oh am I is this an optical illusion no. or something? Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. Michael's dead. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. What? But I kicked We're the ball! Still stuck, but I kicked the stupid ball and everything! What more do you want? It's alright. We must have just missed... Um... Something. You remember you, more now? Can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever. I'll deal with it. Oh no, it's another one of those things. That thing is still watching me. Huh. This is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other real to real thing from the 40s? Why would it be here? This. You Are know, we I okay didn't now? I realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. But what yeah, did I do? Making it sound right. Did what? I. 
I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Yeah, I agree. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had a lot of fun. If you want to see previous streams that I've done, go check out my YouTube channel. Link is in my bio. If you guys want to see about the streams, link, go check out my X or my Instagram. Link is also in my bio. Or check out my schedule here on Twitch if you don't want to do any of that for whatever reason. Here is the stream schedule for this week. Next day, next week, it will probably also be the same, but we shall see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, click that notification bell, and do whatever the hell else you guys want to do. Hope you guys have a good day and night wherever you are. I shall see you guys real soon. Bye!